Welcome back to the last session of the Fly ND Conference. We're excited to have Justin Winninger, our co MC for this event, who's going to be offering some closing comments in his position as chair elect of the North Dakota Aviation Association. Justin, take it away. Thanks, Stacy. Well, good afternoon once again to everyone and welcome to the final session of the 2021 North Dakota Aviation Association Fly ND Conference. Uh, for those of you who may not know me, once again, my name is Justin Winnegar. I'm a business banking officer and aviation lender with American Bank Center out of Bismarck. I'm also the chair elect of the North Dakota Aviation Association and will be moving into the role of chairman of the association later this summer. Now you can stick around with us uh, immediately following my remarks. We'll jump back online and uh, give our door prizes away from the uh, trivia that we've been playing throughout the week. Well, we've had a great time over these last two days uh, with some fantastic sessions, lots of learning, uh, a very cool tour through the Piper factory, a great presentation from Dick Van Grensven, uh, our happy hour last night and the trivia. Uh, so thanks to everyone who showed up for that. Now this was all possible do the hard work of a great team that I've had the privilege of working with on the site committee. Um, now, as you may have noticed, this year's conference looks a little bit different than it has in past years, as you're all sitting either at home or in your office or wherever you might find yourself, rather than sitting next to your friends and colleagues here at the conference. As we began planning this year's conference back in October, we didn't know what this event was gonna look like. This team worked extremely hard and showed incredible dedication to bringing a top-notch conference to all of our members. We had to learn everything about virtual conferences on the fly and find new and inventive ways to do things. Now that we're at the end of the conference, I might say that uh, it was actually kind of fun. Um, I'd like to take the opportunity now to thank our team. Our chairman of the site committee was John Simmers from Bismarck Aero Center, Ryan Anderson from Basin Electric, Mike McHugh and Gay Nye Miller from the North Dakota Aeronautics Commission, and of course, Stacy Crumwoody and Jamie Bender from our executive director team that really helped us to patch everything together. I'd also like to thank the board for their commitment and dedication to this conference, helping with direction when we needed it, and then allowing us the latitude to bring it all together. I'd also like to thank all of you, our members and attendees, Thank you for your patience as we worked through when and what this event would look like. Thank you for showing us your dedication to this event by showing up. Uh, we didn't know if we'd have 15 people or 150 people show up. We far exceeded those numbers. So thank you for figuring out this virtual conference format with us and making it successful. We hope that even though we couldn't be together and enjoy each other's camaraderie at the sessions and the exhibitor night and the icebreaker, that you're still able to take something great out of this. And lastly, and certainly not least, we need to thank our incredible sponsors. Uh, you know, once again, when, when we made the decision to hold this conference virtually, we didn't know what our sponsor support would look like. How would they embrace this format? Would they show up? Well, let me tell you, our sponsors showed up in a huge way. The commitment and dedication that our sponsors showed to this organization and this conference absolutely blew me away. Their support very much made this event possible. And they showed us that they believe in our organization. So please take a look at the list of the sponsors of this event and support their businesses and support their organizations. Show them our appreciation as individuals and as an organization. And I'd like to take the time now and talk a bit about the North Dakota Aviation Association and where we're going. Uh, this afternoon, we held an election, bringing on two new members at large to the board of directors. For the first time ever, we've had more people on the ballot than positions open. To me, that's incredible. It shows that we've got people that want to be engaged and want to help make a difference not only in this community of aviation, but in this organization as well. So thank you to all three of you and congratulations to our two new members. I'm looking forward to working with you both. And to anyone else out there that might be interested in a position on the board or in one of the various groups and committees, please reach out. We'd love to have you. Now, as I mentioned before, I'll be moving into the chairman role later this summer and I've come to realize that I have some gigantic shoes to fill. It's been an honor 
to work with our current chairman, Darren Hall, for the last year. Watching him take ideas from thoughts to fruition through hard work and creative ideas, networking, bringing the right people together. Well, it's not only been fun, but inspiring to watch. Oh, and by the way, Darren has a full-time job that he's had a number of other large events to plan for throughout the year as well. A few of the thoughts that have come to fruition, as Darren mentioned yesterday morning and during the membership meeting today, are the Career Expo to be held in May. The new scholarship program that we've partnered with the North Dakota Community Foundation on and the exciting opportunity we're working on for an FAA grant. Darren has certainly been an incredible leader of the association and has allowed us to take some huge steps. I only hope I can help to create as much as Darren has. Building toward that goal, the, thing, the one thing that has really stuck out to me as I fly around the state and work with and connect with people in aviation all throughout the industry is just how many resources we have in North Dakota. As we heard about Bill Beeks earlier today, those kind, of fee those kind of people fill our North Dakota aviation community. From the folks working the line at the FBO, which I used to do, to the mechanics proudly taking care of our aircraft, to the airport managers and administration, uh, to the engineers doing things that I'm never even gonna pretend to know the ins and outs of to keep me safe as a pilot to our CFIs watching as our students slowly grow their own wings, and to the DPEs signing off on the new certificates. The list goes on and on, and I know I've missed a ton. We've got that over and over and over here in our state, right here. From our smallest grass strips to our biggest international airports, we've got an incredible community. So my challenge to myself as the incoming chairman and to all of you, is how do we work together to help that little kid in Linton, North Dakota that wants to fly an Airbus A380? Or that high school student in Wilson, North Dakota that wants to be an aircraft mechanic? Or the newly minted private pilot from Cooperstown, North Dakota that wants to be a CFI? Or that little boy from Bismarck that asked me, Dad, how can I become the pilot of Air Force One? How do we bring all of these incredible resources we have together to make North Dakota one of the best general aviation states in the country? Not only for all of us using it today, but for the next generation of pilots and mechanics and engineers and managers and everybody. We've got all of the pieces in this incredible community of aviation we've built. Let's continue to pull them together. I have some thoughts and ideas on things that we can do and places that I'd like to see us go. And I started talking to FBO owners and corporate pilots and mechanics and air traffic controllers and really anybody that'll stand to listen to me. But I wanna hear from you. Become involved, join a committee or a group, call or email me or any of the board members. Take someone for a flight, show someone around an airplane while it's in the shop being worked on. Introduce yourself to the neighbor down the way in the tea hangers. Attend one of our awesome fly-ins that we're hosted around the state. Donate to the scholarship fund. But most of all, yell from the hilltops how great our community of aviation is in North Dakota. And let's make it better. And let's make it bigger. Let's help that high school student become an aircraft mechanic. Let's help that private pilot get his CFI and help to ensure that he has students to teach. Let's help that little kid fly that Airbus. And who knows, maybe one day, Captain Winnegar from Bismarck, North Dakota will be flying Air Force One. So once again, thank you all for your support of this incredible organization. Thank you for your time being here this week and thank you for helping to build an incredible community of aviation. Take care.